everybody, Neil here from the Four Corners, and welcome to a quick little video talking about some brand new summer 2021 details for Ninjago. We got the prices leaked for all of the upcoming sets. The leak itself seems pretty trustable, it's by FalconFan1414, he's been around for a very long time and he's always right about these leaks, so we can definitely trust these prices for sure. First off, we have the Supersonic Raider for $90. Looking at the preliminary image, it doesn't seem like a $90 set, but these preliminary images tend to mess with your eyes, so you don't really see the full scale. And plus, Ninjago is kind of the best when it comes to LEGO value, so I'm not really scared with the price here. There's the 4 Plus Bounty for $40. Again, this is one of those sets where the preliminary image doesn't really look like a $40 set. But I'm pretty sure once we see the final box and the final design, that should all add up. The 4 Plus Kai's bike, that's $10. That's quite a deal. I was kind of expecting $15 or $20, but that's a pretty good value. Kai's dragon is $50. Sort of expected there. It was always around that $40 to $50 price point. Now we can move on to the Seabound side of sets. We have Lloyd's Hydromech for $20, completely expected. Jay's car for $40. I was secretly hoping that this would be $30, but everything outside told me it would be $40. I mean, the whole structure of the car looks like a typical $40 set. So that makes sense there. The Water Dragon is $50. Pleasant surprise. I was kind of expecting it to be $60 to $70. The Hydro Bounty is $130, and that's completely expected as well. The Land Bounty was $130, so it kind of seemed natural that the Hydro Bounty would also be around the same price point, although it does seem like you're getting more value here. The Temple of the Infinite Ocean will be $100, and that's a surprise because it comes with one of the most important water serpents for the season, Wajira, and then some pretty cool temple builds. So the fact that you're getting all of this important stuff in the set that's actually not the most expensive of the wave is pretty cool. I'm surprised that the Hydra Bounty ended up being the biggest. That is it for this quick little video going through each of the sets and labeling the prices. We didn't really go into each set because we've done that a lot before. I just wanted to get this information out because it's pretty important. We get to see how much each set is going to cost. There was really no question ever about the value here. Ninjago is always the best at value and prices. It was just always a question to see how much these cost. Thank you for watching a summer 2021 update video. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.